Hello everyone, today we're going to uh, learn how to solve the problem under the pre-practical test exercise that we, uh, that I assigned to you last time in your class. This is meant for you to, to practice and yeah, to practice uh, before the actual practical test that you might have soon for your class. Um, so let's get started by just opening your Edmodo um account and of course look for the ICT page and find this pre practical test exercise. So first and foremost, open your trick scenario, accomplish the following task before the end of the period. So number one, download the attached sounds files and place them in the sounds folder of the trick scenario. So I have attached here some sound clips, level win dot wav and game over uh, when you click this in windows 10 it should open a page in which you can download um, the sound clip if you cannot find this uh, button the download folder a uh, download button right click and then you have the option to save the video but despite it's not really a video it's just a sound clip it's fine so you can click save video as okay so you can do that that's one you can save it under the downloads folder and you're done or of course the easier way if you can find this download button click this so if you notice i already downloaded these files let's just look for them under the downloads folder so it's here so game over and level dash win and the file name extension is wave or wav don't forget to remember that later because we're going to type the file name as well as its file name extension when we use it under the play sound method okay so let's go ahead and go to the next step so we're done with number one number two under the game over method play the level win.wav when the turtle eats three food objects so let's check out our code so apparently i don't have this game over method method yet game over method uh, yet in my code so i'm going to just simply create one so public void game over so i'm creating here a method called game over method and in this method play the level win when the turtle eats three food objects and to do that we have to find out if there is a variable that monitors the number of food items eaten or food objects eaten and if you recall in our previous videos and lessons we have created before the food count variable okay so it takes down or monitors the number of food eaten so we're going to use that variable here so how then can we use it so under the game over method play the level win when the tur turtle eats the food objects it's also saying if it the turtle eats three food objects play the level win sound so to type it in actual code you have to use the if statement if now in this case if you notice we will be using our variable food count in a condition Okay, so remember our food count variable is an integer variable. It can store integers. So it can eat zero and up depending on the number of food items or food objects eaten. If food count is equal to three, if you notice we use two equal sign, sign or two equal symbols. For, for this conditional statement, remember when you're con comparing 
values use two equal signs. Press enter. As for our then statement, as you have remembered, play the sound, but remember we are just borrowing the play sound method from the Greenfoot class. So type Greenfoot before it. Greenfoot dot play sound open and close parenthesis. Let's call our method or sound file. Okay, so it's not here yet. Or the file is not saved yet under the sounds folder. Remember it we just downloaded those two files. So before you can you type the whole thing or complete your line, make sure you copy this first from the downloads folder, place it under documents. Fix scenario folder, sounds folder, then paste it here. Now that we have transferred it, we are we are now ready to type the level win sound file in our code. So type level win small letter L dash win dot wav then semicolon compile. Okay, so Let's also number before we can use the game over, we have to make sure that it is being called or invoked under the app method. So type game over method here. We call that method, or else it will not play. Compile. Let's run the program. One, two, ten. And if you notice, you've heard some echoing there. Um, so let's add another line of code other than the level win line because we want the, the, the sound to stop once it actually achieved the score. Because if you heard the echoing, that means the computer thinks that the food count is three, it will keep on playing the level win because remember, food count. Um, is converted to uh, is the food count um, value is three it will keep on playing this so what you can do is we can stop this uh, scenario once we achieve our goal which is uh, food count is equal to three then we stop the scenario notice I got this stop method from the Greenfoot class. That's why I type Greenfoot dot stop. So what it does, it stops the whole thing. Compile. Run scenario. One, two, three. And you've heard the sound stop as soon as it ate the third burger. So let's now proceed to the next step. So on number three, remove the eat turtle method from the app method of the Pelican class. So let's check. We have that under the Pelican class. Okay, so um, remove the eat turtle from the app method. This is the eat turtle. Um, if you're worrying about it, if you're going to remove it, it's okay because remember we if we just remove it like this it's still there the, the method is still there not, not but not being called under the act method or if you want to use it again then simply type or another way is to disable it by converting it into a comment by adding two forward slashes before the line so if you notice it's grayed out when it's a comment it will not be compiled if I compile it, it's still, um, still okay, but uh, now whenever the pelican touches the turtle, it will not be removed immediately. Number four, under the turtle class, create an integer variable called types. So we're now being asked again to make another variable. This time, the name of the variable is lives, 
and still the variable type is an integer. So we're going to make a global variable under the turtle class. So if it's a global variable, we place it right before all other methods or outside the method. Let's type here private. It's an integer variable. So type in, name it lives, and number five, assign three lives for the turtle class. So assign. If you notice, I use only one equal sign for assigning a value to a variable. So one equal sign like this for assigning a value to a variable when comparing use two equal signs like this. Okay. And number six. Number six, deduct one life from the lives variable every time the tur turtle touches the pelican. So Though I did not mention it under my instruction, what we can do here is we can make first a method which try to cover this uh, line, turtle touches the pelican. So if the turtle touches the pelican, they dock one life from the lives variable. So what you can do, you're going to make uh, an if statement that actually does that. But uh, to be organized, I want you to make a, or you can make rather, a method which allow you to do that. So public void um, touch enemy, I'll name it touch enemy because I want to use this method later on for other enemies if we plan to do so. Again, that's your method signature and your braces. Under touch enemy, we're going to make if statement. If is touching, open and close, pelican dot class, open and close braces. Okay, so we're done with the if statement. What's lacking is the then statement. As for the then statement, deduct one life from the lives variable. So deduct one life. So similar to your food count, where we added a val, uh, we when we added the one to the food count variable whenever it touches a burger. This time around, we're going to deduct a life from the lives variable. So to do so, lives equal lives. Minus one because subtraction deduct. Okay. Again, of course, it will not work unless we call it under the act method. You can type here the method touch enemy under the act method compile. Okay, so. The reason, by the way, that we remove the eat turtle under the pelican pelican class is because we want to introduce a system, a live system, or a health system for our pelican or in our game, uh, so that even though that the pelican touches a turtle, it will not be game over already immediately. So. By adding lives, at least we give the turtle or the player a chance for, I think, for uh, three lives or three chances at least to, to finish or accomplish again. So that's the reason why we disable the eat turtle, by the way, here. Let's go to the turtle, back to the turtle. So let's try out if our code is working. But before you run the program, let's try to inspect first our turtle. Right click on the turtle object, select inspect. Okay, and if you notice, you will find here your global variables food count and lives. So, here 
you see the default value which is zero because we haven't ran the program yet so zero and we the turtle hasn't eaten anything yet so zero lives is three so just as we uh, assigned earlier all right so let's run the program let's try if our code is working run one two okay let's try to be touched by the pelican i think or you've already seen the pelican touch the turtle you've noticed that the lives uh value was brought down to negative eight that means i think since if we um the the default value earlier was three and now the value is negative eight i think more or less the um computer detected that the turtle has been touched by the pelican for around 11 times okay, so just do the math okay so negative eight uh let's proceed to the next and final instruction under the game over method of the turtle class add another if statement that will stop the game okay so you've seen it from the stop method when the lives variable becomes zero and also play the game over me uh, game over dot wav during this event so um play the sound game over and end the game so Let's do that in our code. So under the game over method, okay, add another if statement. So another if statement if if uh, lives is equal to zero. Is equal to zero then let's play the sound again be careful with the spelling so make sure it is the file name actual file name of your sound file okay and let's stop the scenario when it reaches when lives is also zero okay so compile all right so let's try this out compile so on the program eat burger let's try to be touched a bit by the pelican <laughs> Okay, if you notice, it suddenly stopped, despite if, as you know, we have three lives. Why is that that the pelican only, if you notice, only once, as if it only, um, it touched the uh, turtle once, but it already stopped the game. So let's try to find out, right click, inspect. If you notice the lives was brought down to negative one which is supposedly uh weird because we only we saw earlier that the pelican only touched the pet just touched the turtle why is that the value is already negative one okay so it's because that the lives or that the pelican is still touching the, the turtle that's why it keeps on detecting that it touches the turtle or the turtle touches the pelican. So it keeps on deducting. So for as long as they, they are touching each other, it will be brought down. Remember this code here is touching pelican. If this is still true, then it will keep deducting lives from it. So what you can do is We can probably implement something like uh, the turtle, once it touches a pelican, has to be brought to a safe place, like here, like in this in this area, okay, so that uh, 
when the pelican touches it once, it will not be deducted continuously, or the lies will not be deducted continuously. Um, so that's the flaw no, in our code. So what we're going to do, of course, this is not included anymore within uh, our my instruction. So what we can do is we can probably add some line here, which sets the location of our turtle object. Once it touches the pelican, we'll teleport this turtle to hopefully a safe place, like maybe five, five coordinates and semicolon. So let's try this program, compile. So again, set location, what it does, it brings the object to a certain location, compile. Run the program. Let's eat one burger. Try to be touched by the pelican. So if you notice, the turtle was brought after um, being touched here in this area. It was brought immediately to the 5 phi coordinates. Let's right click our turtle and check. So it only deducted one life. From the turtle. So now your code works. Let's try to continue running the program and see if it actually um, has uh, the lives variable is actually working. What? So that's one life left. And let's touch again. And that's the third life. Um, so now that we have, uh, let's try to check, inspect. The value of lives is zero so if it means zero that means it's game over already it will play the sound game over and it will stop the whole scenario so that's the solution for our um pre practical test exercise i hope you can pause in case you don't get my solution you can pause and rewind on the the, the video and of course, just leave your comments if you have uh, still being or still confused with the uh, with the solution, so that you are also prepared for the upcoming practical test by next year. Thank you and goodbye.